With that in mind, let's get to printing. I managed to capture some shots of the print process and I wanted to show the carbon fiber routing. Here's one of the steps printing followed by the first carbon fiber sandwich panel. Iger has the fiber alternate direction in each layer by 45 degrees. This is easily visualized here where the second of four carbon fiber layers is being laid down. You can see the carbon fiber spool spinning in the background. Everything else printed as usual. And special thanks to our customer NSI MI Technologies for supplying their spare carbon fiber spool to us so that we could get prints off our Mark II. They saved us loads of time and helped make this project a reality. Thanks guys. Once the parts finished printing, they were removed from the bill platforms for support material removal. I'm honestly blown away at how easy it is to remove support material from Mark Forge prints. I've optimized support removal on my hobby printers at home and they still don't compare to Mark Forged. You'll notice I'm using a flathead screwdriver to remove the supports from this cross beam pocket. That's due to the support material direction and Iger. I could have simply rotated the support direction by 90 degrees to make removal easier, but I figured a thin screwdriver would get me to the finish line anyway. And here are all the parts ready for assembly.